Peace family, your boy Spin City definitely is in a spot. And here we are. It's day 13. 13. Fast February, we've been getting down. All type of fast, how to fast, who should fast, who should fast here, and spiritual fast, dopamine fast. Today, family, we're here on the dry fast. The dry fast, right? Dry fast, you know, every other fast, usually we kept it with some water, right? Give some water, some fruit juice, some tea, some coffee. Now here's the dry fast, right? Where you don't get no water, but there's actually two. There's actually two types of dry fasting, right? There's a hard dry fast and a soft dry fast, basically. A hard fast, a hard dry fast will be you don't even touch water. You don't touch nothing. You don't even take a shower. Because the skin can still absorb water through the pores. Right? Especially in times when it's desperate. It's going to really start to look at its surface levels. And then there's the soft dry fast where you'll still get in the shower. You'll still go swimming or whatever the case may be. But you just won't drink any water. Okay? So... It could, we, we can tend to think, you know what I mean, is a dry fast even healthy, right? Is it okay? Is this cool? Like to not even have no water going on for days? You know what I mean? So being it that it's a fast that's going to go ahead and avoid foods and liquids, right? It's great for, you know what I mean, that autophagy, that apoptosis. You know, the body's really, really working with everything that it has to get rid of toxins. You know what I mean? The cells are going to make their own water because there's no outside water coming in. So, you know what I mean? This is going to be one of the best ones. They say, you know, it's out there in the world that just one day of a nice, solid, dry fast, 24 hours of dry fasting can be an equivalent to about 72 hours on a regular water fast. You know what I mean? When it comes down to cellular health, okay? Um, of course, the gut microbiome doesn't have anything to take in and anything to do at all. You know what I mean? The cells are, are going through certain processes, living and dying, getting stronger, right? So that's what we're working on there. It's, it's a boost, okay? This is just, you know what I mean? This is going to be short and sweet again because it's a dry fast, soft it's hard, you know what I mean? It's a boost. About 24 hours of this equates to 72 hours of, you know what I mean, water fast that we've been talking about. So, But definitely, definitely um, be safe because you can tend to lose rapidly, okay? Um, it can definitely lead to dehydration and a whole bunch of other complications, right? So you definitely want to be super safe and to um, go ahead and bounce into... You know, a dry fast family, I would say the best way to prepare for this one is to for sure hydrate properly and maybe overhydrate a little bit for days leading into a dry fast. I wouldn't say, oh, you just hydrate Monday and you'll dry fast by Tuesday. No, I'm saying let's overhydrate, make sure we're getting in, you know what I mean, a bit more than our body weight, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever our regular water intake is and we also have to find that out i'll be speaking more about the whole water intake um here on the channel because you know i mean we have a lot of we get, we usually have a lot of back and forth when it comes to oh you should drink this type of water and you should drink this much water and ooh, 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 yeah, come on man some people exercise some people don't some people use the bathroom a lot some people don't some people cry a lot some people sweat a lot some people come on come on so water intake wherever you find it for yourself I'm, I'm definitely, you know what I mean, go on an uptick, go on an uptake of your water for three days minimum. Three days minimum, right, over hydration, and only go into the dry fast for about 12 hours first, first, first. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uptake your water. You know what I mean? You might be an intermittent fast, you might be already doing a fast, but you're about to go, you're about to go hard body. Thursday, half of Thursday, and do nothing. 12 hour dry fast. And that's your first attempt. Okay. Your body's going to need training for this one. I know. I mean, some of y'all, you know, 
Some of y'all don't care about none of that, you know what I mean? But it's definitely, definitely, you know, a dry fair as you really want to be, you know what I'm saying? I got to tell y'all, please, family, please go ahead and be safe with this one. Make it 12 hours first. You know what I mean? Maybe the first few times, maybe, you know what I mean? And don't use dry fasting over and over. Dry fasting is not an everyday thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course, you know, we can think about ancestors. We can think about history to where folks didn't know where the water was. And, you know what I mean? Water, water scarcity or whatever the case may be. Family, we do live in the year 2021 at the time of this recording. So I just don't dive into no dry fast. You know what I mean? Just diving on in off some regular food. I definitely want you to be hydrated, especially if you've been using coffee for your water fast. You know, caffeine can also lead you to dehydration. Other things, I mean, you might do some exercise. You might have a stressful life. You know what I mean? Just please, please heed my warning. You know what I mean? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then 12-hour dry fast. And then maybe two weeks later, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of hydration. Thursday, 24-hour dry fast. Just keep practicing. Maybe it takes... Maybe it takes two dry fasts, 12 hour dry fast a month. I just want you to be safe and get the benefits because if you just dive right in, there could be more adverse effects. And that's on all of the fasts we spoke of. You know what I mean? I just want you to be safe inside the fast and get more of the benefits opposed to you having, you know, your headache and your dehydration and you're feeling crazy. Yeah, some of that is you detoxing. But sometimes the body, you know what I mean, it's going to be, you, know, you don't got no energy. You're supposed to have energy here in the fast. You're supposed to have increased cognition in the fast. But here you are, you know what I mean, lethargic, feeling dumb, feeling lost, dry at the mouth. I don't, I don't want nobody to feel that. I don't want nobody to go through that. So please, you know what I'm saying, go ahead. Heed warning, family. That's how we're going to run it. You know what I mean? Spin City in the spot. I just wanted to come in real quick. You know what I mean? Y'all know I never really hold y'all long. Speak on the dry fast. So, y'all, tomorrow, we're going to go on to some ups and downs, some pros and cons, and how to map out for the challenge. The challenge is February 15th, so day 15 of Fast February, we will begin a challenge to where I come on. You know what I mean? I say where I am in my fast, what I broke my fast with, you know what I mean, how long I'm going for. And then y'all can go down below in the comments and say, oh, yep, what's up, Spin? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on 12 hours. I'm feeling great. You know what I mean? Let's let's communicate. Let's really communicate. Let's get our fast in together. All right? Salute, family. Peace, love, light, longevity, and all that good stuff. It's about duality. It's a God mind driving a God body full of God spirit. <laughs> Sound like you're making yourself gods again, family. Uh, your boy, Spin City, is out of here. I'll see you tomorrow for day 14. Pros, cons, big bubble, little bubble. Take some notes. Hop into a fast, y'all. Salute. Spin City, I'm out.